Okay, my friends, this is Lawrence Livermore Labs doing precisely what we did. Rodney had the laser shooting through the Venturi, creating this kind of extreme energy. And he was picking up shots with the laser, with the cell phone, this cell phone right here, from these laser, um, pulse lasers going through Venturi's and then hitting the lamp just like that, same thing. Now they're doing it with an extremely high energy beam, which is extremely high energy. We didn't need that because we created the high energy by focusing. They're, and they created what they call ionization. Ionization is nothing more than breaking apart these particles and showing them. We did precisely identical to that, identical. Remember the cell phone, taking the pictures, because of the CMOS, which they use it to, to take um, cosmic ray pictures too. Same, same, same exact same thing, identical. It splashes all this white out of here, and some of it goes in and is, is shown as particles disassociating from each other. And don't forget, this is all this is right here. This is exactly what happened. This laser right here was shot through these venturi but it's finely tuned i just threw this together so you could see but it was two finishing nails very tight perfectly aligned and shot the laser through it forced it to accelerate then the particle appeared and then the shower appeared as the particle split and he was using this is from rod warren he did this i did some myself but not like rod had it fabulous he was using the selfie side taking all these pictures, just like they were just showing a second ago, and seeing the actual division of the particles turning to black and white. And here it is right here. Precisely what they want to see at CERN and Family Lab. You see the black separated from the white? Before they were attached together. And now they should separate. So this is fission. And everywhere where the black comes back to the white is fusion, because it, it, and it's subatomic. Now they're using huge particles, and they're taking like, like big huge chunks and breaking them apart, and then they come back together, and they think that's, you know, a much more energetic reaction. I don't think so. I think this is just as energetic, because what you want is this spray. White electron showers is the key to the whole thing, because that's what they end up with. Even though they're splashing two big chunks together, it's spraying out a whole bunch of electrons. That's what we already got just by using this little laser. All right, so we know they can see the same particles we see. CMOS is what we're using. I can see they're using just a cell phone. They, they showed it right in there. It was... I can tell what they were showing. I mean, you can't if you can't see that. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it sure looks like a cell phone to me. I don't know about you. So they're using the same thing we were using, a CMOS. This is that's all it is. And CMOS was known back in 2014 that these smartphone CMOS could pick up cosmic rays, and cosmic rays are what we're talking about. Okay, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this because it's really kind of simple, but it's people are not going to get it, I don't think, real easily. We are doing fission and fusion. And what is fission and fusion? Fission means when you have something that's attached together like this and you break it apart, it's fission. It's broken apart. That's the normal condition of light. These particles are attached together. When they hit the venturi, they separate and they become electron showers. This is exactly what CERN, Fermilab, and all the rest know that happens is a muon neutrino, electron neutrino, which are attached together, will separate. They can't do it like we can on demand. We sent it through this venturi and just said, you black guys stay back there and the white guys go through because the white ones can squish way down and get real big. You see up here? Here they are traveling through the air before they do that catastrophic event. You see this one pumping up and this one getting dim? Same particle. It's the same particle going. And just This is the enhanced version. shows the color range. This one's just pumping up because it's got to get through the air, through all the other particles that are in the air. But this is their natural condition is to be attached. And this is fission when they break apart. I mean, there's no other way to put it. They come back together immediately and create Higgs fields. And so it's division 
and reattachment fission fusion that's there's no other way to look at this if you have any other way to look at it i would like to have your understanding of what you're seeing family lab and cern they say the same thing these are the same particles only they get them from a whole slew of debris because they're hitting gigantic things head on and having just spewing particles everywhere we're using light which is the most elementary particle there is basically that we know of other than straight electricity but now we know these two particles are normally attached together and it really is gravity because as they get big the black actually migrates to the center which they always thought was the proton one big black solid positive center well it is but there's one another layer of electrons around it they never knew about and then outside of that is where the orbitals are so that one extra layer of electrons is has been missed otherwise you would have one huge 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 proton having one electron volt and you'd have one tiny little electron having same one electron volt one would be positive one would be negative it doesn't work they're the same sizes have the same charges and there's 1823 approximately of each per proton the black parts go right to the center and then there's 1823 electrons that code it and then as you go into hydrogen one more wants to get in can't get in but it floats around outside of that encased central core of dark stuff. I hope that makes sense. All right, what I'm telling you right now is what we did was create electron showers. You see this electron shower from the electron neutrino, which was the white one, turned into a shower. Well, here's what the energy value should be. This is the physics of electron showers. Now, they use proton-to-proton -proton collisions, and then they reduce them down to hadrons, and that creates the neutrinos, and then that creates the electrons and muon uh, particles, which the energy of neutrinos interacting with this device they have is 100 giga electron volts. That's 100 billion to a few trillion so these are extremely energetic particles and huge fields of illumination and that's what we wanted to do was to create that what they're doing is taking huge particles smashing them together they're getting the electrons and muons but they're getting them from proton proton collisions we're getting them straight from light which is much better and they wanted to do this 1970 had a special commission on this to try to do photon collisions there's no reason that you have to hit something head-on if you could force them to go into a funnel which is nothing more than a venturi they have to crush and the black particles are just going just like that every pulse boom boom boom, boom. the white can't get away it has to go and i could prove that you want to see it yes you do of course you do why would you not here it is coming through bam 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 you see all these little pulses that's that black being driven against the white. The white has to go. The black pushing it. It's not that hard to understand if once you can get your head around the two particles being separate. And in the nuclear bomb blast, the house will burn up, not even move, because this has no mass whatsoever to speak of that I can find. And then a second later, the black will hit it and take the house down. Might as well show you. Okay, get ready. You're going to see a nuclear bomb is exactly what I just showed you where that black wave comes out pushing the white ahead of it. White has no mass. So what happens in an atomic bomb, you have so much particles, when they crush it in, they can't maintain and they go out with a vengeance. And when they do, they all, all the white goes first. Then the black comes after it because it's been just, everything's been so devastatingly compressed. <sighs> Out it goes. And this already wants to fall apart. So once you really get it, it's gone. Now, this is what happens at the, at the house. And you're going to see this. It's running 25% speed. This is AdamCentral.com. I'm going to play this. And whoops, let me turn the sound off because it will sound terrible. All right, now. You see what happened? Let me back it up just a second. Here's the house. Just laying here. Now, you've got 
wiring, you've got shingles, you've got siding, you've got combustible stuff. Then you have metal, which is not combustible to speak of. You know, sooner or later it will. But it's not like these things. They can only absorb certain amounts of electrons before they literally combust. Now, the air is the same way. There's electrons in the air and oxygen, and hydrogen, and nitrogen, all that. They are going to become excited. And the whole air is going to glow like just like it was of the sun. And these particles are exciting all these other particles. Nobody's being pushed. There's no violence here other than just smoking. It just smokes. You watch the wires, the poles, the house, the shingles, everything that has any porosity to it to speak of. Metal's a little different. Now watch what happens. Here it goes. Again, 25%. And you'll see a br see the brilliant whiteness I stopped it everything just everything glows everything you're going to see all of these things smoking you watch I'm going to stop it again you see nothing's moved not a single thing moved it's just burning everything here is just smoke it's not even push, pushed back they're just drifting smoke up in the air you see it's just drifting up in the air nothing going on there no real push, just like it's smoldering. Now it's already gone. Oh, oh did you see? I just stopped it again, because now here comes the black particles. It just, it literally stops smoldering, and pew, here comes the, the black particles, and they just it, drive the house. Now watch, everything will turn around. You see it turn around and come back? There's a void back where the, the, the blast came from, and every, it's got to have things come back to fill that literally attractive void okay there is virtually no difference whatsoever between this which is a subatomic it's smaller than atoms it's smaller than protons it's light coming through that venturi and it's allowed some white and some black to come the black pushes the white there it is right there that's where that house was it burns it burns it burns it burns it burns it burns it, burns, poof, it goes flying well Something has to come back to what was here, and then it turns around and sort of comes back to fill that void. Um, because this that was a one shot deal, it went pew. we've got to just pulse them over and over and over, do this all day long, so we can harvest that white energy just like burning that house all day long and just sit there and burn and burn and burn and not push it because we're not going to let the black through. This time, we did let it get through, the ones before didn't get through. You see this? No black got through whatsoever. This is where we want to harvest it. This is like we're burning the house, not pushing the house. We're just burning the house. And that would be a collector. Collect down, hold on, and put that extremely energetic particles into some device through a photodiode. A photodiode means you go through one direction only. It can't come back. It goes through, and that's it. It's down here, and now what are you going to do? You're going to use it to drive something, light something, burn something, heat something, run a car, you know, pump water, whatever you want. And you can carry this around in a handheld device. If this works, and I don't see why it won't, because if everything they're saying about electron showers, this is electron showers, you see it? Electron showers. That's what we have here, the white. The black is the muon, and they both came from... Um, neutrinos and I showed you that as well all right so I haven't I haven't said anything that I haven't shown and even entanglement oh well, entanglement just means that the black is split from the white and the white goes into a shower and the black is the entangled photons they come back to another one they don't entangle and stay they want to go find their own other partner on the other side of the universe that's ridiculous they go through and then they come right back to somebody else you see this the ones that got stuck out this side couldn't get through. Somehow, these are other ones that are excess or something. That's all I can think of. There's excess black ones sitting around waiting to find white ones. I, I don't know. But I'm sure this one here didn't jump ahead of these guys. I can't see that happening. So that's another little ball of wax we got to deal with. Is there extra black ones laying around? Because they do say that. They say there's extra dark matter in the universe, and, and they can't account for that. And that could very well be, because it's something grabbed onto there that wasn't there before. 
But the, all these black walls are the same size. The only reason you can see them is because they're highlighted from back. See, some of them don't look the same size. That's because they're not highlighted as well as, as other ones, or they're in the midst of the white. So, but they are all, they're, they're all the same size. And they're all, the black ones are the same size as the green ones and the blue ones. No difference. You see the, you see the blue? I mean, this is a green. All right, here's the black, uh, the red. Boy, I'm telling you, my colors. <laughs> I'm going off with my colors, man. Hold on a second. We're, here it is. Here's the red. Got it right that time. That's the red and the black. All right, prior to that, as they're coming in, they still have the same r red and black to them, but they're not the same energetic values. As they change energetic values, as the neutrino flavors and then turn into the photons, then they split. All right, shown this many, 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 many times. And they just did this at the, this, they, they did it to Large Hadron Collider. They did it differently. They stripped off the dark photons, they call them. Really, they didn't do uh, as good as we did. <laughs> and again, here's they're using proton protons. They can't get away from that. Well, I think they're starting to, because the one I talked about today it was all laser. It was 100 this one here is all laser. It's exactly what we did, only they didn't focus. If they had a focus, they wouldn't need this type of a laser, but they're putting it just like we did into a cell phone. And you can see it. The CMOS can easily be seen by action, absolutely individual photons. Nobody's denying this now. They were denying it up until just a year or two ago. I kept saying, yes, we can see it. This was six, seven years ago. I was, I was showing these particles, and they... Well, they just refused to allow me to present it because they said it's impossible. I said, no, it's very possible. CMOS sees the extreme illumination. And when you have high density pixelation, which you do apparently in this in, in the selfie side, it seems to be very, because that's what Rod said. He said, I got much better results from the selfie side. And he's just doing the same thing they're doing here. Only they're getting all the splash coming back because they're just they're just slamming it with as much energy as they can make. We take, took the cheapest little laser you can get. It's a construction laser. It's just shooting out energy that's just almost nothing. And the result was basically the exact same thing they have. The black and the whites separated. 